a quick, nutritious recipe for your family on a busy weeknight? Well, I'm Julie Gardner with Texas AgriLife Extension Service, and today I have the answer for you. On dinner tonight today, we're going to be preparing Southwestern Shrimp Tacos. Now, a lot of people think that shrimp should be reserved for special occasions or maybe the weekend, but with this recipe, it's simple enough that it can be made any night of the week. So let's get started. We're going to start with approximately two pounds of large shrimp, and what I have done, I've went ahead and I've made up a marinade for them, simple, simple marinade, two tablespoons of pepper sauce mixed with a teaspoon of chili powder and three quarters teaspoon of cumin along with a half a teaspoon of salt. Now we just simply mix that together and we let it set for about 30 minutes. And now we're going to add it to our skillet and we're going to simply saute until the shrimp become opaque, which is usually about two to three minutes per side. Make sure we get that cooking good. A shrimp, again, it's, it's something that doesn't have to be reserved for the weekend. It can be cooked any day or night of the week. And it's one of my favorite foods. And look, fortunately for me, my children love it too. So we, we like to have shrimp on a, a you know, regular occasion. Okay, now while this is sauteing and, and getting uh, done, we're going to actually prepare a salsa to go with it. Now, traditionally we think of salsas that maybe come in the jar that are really tomato based. Well, this one's a little different, but I promise when you pair it with a southwestern shrimp, it's going to be perfect for these tacos. We're going to start with one large tomato, which I've simply chopped up. You could use a, a large tomato, or if you have Roma tomatoes on hand, you could use that. The tomatoes, of course, are going to give it lots of lycopene, which is a great antioxidant for the body going to make it really delicious. To that, we're going to add approximately three teaspoons of full of cilantro. Now, I love cilantro, and so there's probably a little more than that in this, um, this dish because I don't really, I didn't really measure for this. So, but if you, you know, you could add more, you could add less if you don't like the flavor. Then I have one clove of garlic. Again, fresh garlic just gives it a great flavor. You could substitute the um, jar kind that comes in the, the refrigerator section if you'd like, but I prefer to go ahead and mince up a fresh garlic clove. Then we're going to add some jalapeno pepper. This is about um, two teaspoons of jalapeno pepper. Again, if, if that's something that you don't like the flavor of, maybe if you're not a person that likes a lot of spice, you could maybe substitute in a banana pepper, just something to give it a little flavor, but not as much heat. Of course, if you like it even a little hotter, you could always sub in something like a habanero to even make it spicier. Let's go ahead and give our shrimp a stir over here. Make sure they're getting, getting good and done. Oh, it's beginning to smell delicious. Wish you were here to smell that southwestern flavor coming. We also have the juice of one lime. Now, I'll have to tell you a little trick when you're, we're working with limes or lemons. If, you know, if you'll take your lime, the whole lime or whole lemon, Go ahead and pop it in the microwave for about 20 to 30 seconds, depending on the size. 20 seconds for smaller ones, 30 for larger ones. Pop that in the microwave. Give it a good roll across the cabinet with a firm hand. And when you slice that, the juice is really going to flow from it. This makes it a lot easier than having to, to squeeze out um, the juice from a lime that hasn't been in the microwave. Throw that in there. And then we have a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Let's add a little flavor there. Get that good stirred up. Again, lots of flavor, lots of nutrition right here. And then we're going to top it off with avocado. This is one large avocado that I have just simply chopped up. I'm going to stir that in there. Avocados are a great source of unsaturated fat. Now they are high in calories, we know that, but it's a, a good, good kind of fat. It helps lower the, the bad cholesterol in your, your body, so it's a, a good good substitution. A lot of times to things like mayonnaise or things like that that you might be putting on a sandwich. And for these tacos, it's perfect. So we're going to just sort of mix that up, not, not too much because we don't want to really mush the avocado. Just mix it where the, the flavors will meld. The lime in there will also help that avocado from turning brown. So we'll set that aside for just a second and we'll go back over to our shrimp. And they are beginning to get done. Okay, We're just going to go right over here to our plate and we have uh, paired it with so a fresh green uh, green mix. And then I like to put, with this recipe especially, some fruit. And so we have some mandarin oranges and also fresh cantaloupe that we're going to, to pair it with. We have our tortillas here. 
And then instead of traditional lettuce and tomato, we're actually going to add some coleslaw mix. This coleslaw mix does not have the dressing on it. It's just dry coleslaw mix, dry cabbage and carrot mixture. It's going to give a lot of flavor, a lot of crunch. Let's go ahead and put that in in our taco there. Okay. And again, I think our, our shrimp are they're good and done here. And so we're going to trade spoons. I'm going to spoon up a few shrimp, about, about five shrimp on the taco. Pour that in, just like that. Okay. And then we're going to add our salsa to the top of that. So we'll add a little of our, our salsa on there. And that's, that's one there. Let's go ahead and add our second one because we want to make, a, we're going to make a, a full meal here. So more of our coleslaw mix. It's right down the middle. Now, if you wanted to, if you had prepared coleslaw with the dressing already on it and you wanted to use that instead, you could. But just remember, when you start doing that, you're really kicking up the calories because the basis of coleslaw, of course, is mayonnaise, and that's really high in calories and high in fat. So I suggest not, not adding the actual dressed coleslaw, if you would, instead of just using a, the dry mix. A little more of our, our salsa there. And, you know, instead of the salsa being on the, the taco, you could also easily use this for a dip, if you'd like, with maybe some whole wheat chips. Put that there. Okay. And there you have it. This is a great meal for any weeknight or weekend night. Remember, shrimp doesn't have to be reserved for special occasions. It can be for any night of the week. I hope that you've enjoyed today's Southwestern Shrimp Taco Recipe. also hope that you and your family will go to Texas AgriLife Extension Service and enter tonight's website where you'll find even more delicious recipes.